Looks like you may have hit a largey. 1847 braided hair, large set. And we got a 1966. All right, bring you back in. It looks like I got a two center. Yep, there it is, two cent. Oh yeah, that is a walker. Yeah. Just pop the copper out. Let's see what we got. Oh, lucky. Another Benji. 1845. That is an awesome find. I will take that. We will see you on the next one. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio. We are back for episode 6 of the Penny Hunt and Album Fill series. Uh, looking forward to getting into another box. Uh, we'll kind of go over where we're at real quick. For those of you who are not caught up, up above, we'll have a link to the playlist. You can go ahead and get caught up before you get into this one. And for those of you who have been following along, we're going to go ahead and uh, go over where we're at. So book number 1, 1909 through 1940s we now have three wheat cents in this book we added a few on the last hunt uh, so that gives us three out of the 89 spots in this book that are filled and we'll get into book two book two is 1941 through 1947s and we now have 58 of the 87 spots filled in this book. Uh, this one's starting to look pretty good. We got some upgrades that we can do. We got a few uh, wheat pennies that should be fairly easy to find. We just need to come across them in the right box. So, so that's book two. And book three, 1975 through 2013D. Um, all these spots I probably could have had filled with the exception of some of the 82s. Um, I've been pretty picky about what I'm putting in this book because there should be good ones out there for just about everything. So anyway, this book here of the 89 spots, uh, we now have 69 filled in this book. So this one's coming along nicely. All these should be able to be found. We do have a few upgrades we can do over on this first page. So that puts us at... 130 of 265 spots are filled through the first five episodes of this series. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to get these pennies put into another box. I hate hunting out of them kind of boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them out and stand them up in a Loomis box. And we're going to get hunting. We will see you on the first find. All right. I got everything switched over to this other box. We have rule one opened up and laid out. And right off the bat here, we have a wheat penny sticking out after I push these down. And we have, it is a 1958D. All right, not one that we need, but it is one for the board. Roll two, and two rolls, two good finds. We have a 1998P under the scope. Get this flipped over. And there it is. We have a 1998 Philly wide AM right here. You can see how wide this is between the letters. They should be touching each other. And then also if we go down here next to Lincoln Memorial on these ones, the FG is very close and almost touching. Normally it's further away. So this is definitely a 1998 wide AM. We'll take that for sure. First variety of the box. Roll number five, and we have got wheat penny number three of the hunt. It is right back here. Doesn't look like it's going to be too old. And we have a 1946 Philly. I'm happy with that. Another one for the board. Roll nine. And we have got a wheat penny here. This one looks pretty war. I'm thinking this one's going to be an older one. It is. It is a 19, I believe that's a 25. Look under the scope here. No, a 1935S. 
A little bit of rough shape, but we'll take it. I'm pretty sure we need that one for the album. Nice. 30's nickel in the box. Row 11. We have wheat penny number 5 of the box. And we have a 19... 51... And that's a 51 S. I'm pretty sure we need that for the book as well. Awesome. Nice find. Roll 13, and we have Wheat Penny number 6 of the hunt. It's right back here. And we have a 1953 Denver. Not sure if we need that one. It'll take a spot in the board. Roll 19, and we have got another Wheat Penny back here. And this one looks like a pretty nice one. Got a little red to it. Not quite a blazer, but not bad at the same time, so. And we have, it is a 1953 Denver. Pretty nice, though. Good detail. Nice shape. Just got that red-brown going on. We'll take it. Roll 34, and we have got Wheat Penny number 8 of the hunt. Kind of rough shape. But it is a wheat penny. And I think get that underneath the scope here. I think that's a 53. Can't quite tell. It's kind of corroded. Nope, it is a 58D. All right, another one for the board. Roll 35. And we have wheat penny number nine of the box. And it is. A 1946 Philly. Roll 40. And we have Wheat Penny number 10 of the hunt. And we have a 1955D. I don't believe we need this one for the album, but it does make 10 for the box, and that makes me happy. Roll 42. And we have Wheat Penny number 11 of the hunt. And it is a 1951D. All right, another addition to the board. Roll 46, and we have another Wheat Penny. This will be number 12 of the hunt. And it is another 1953D. Roll 48, and we have Wheat Penny number 13 of the hunt, and we have another 58D. Roll 50, and we have got Wheat Penny number 14. She's pretty beat up. Reverse facing, so we'll find out what this is together. And it is a 52D. Pretty rough shape on the back. All right, 14. All right, all 50 rolls of that box is hunted. We did end up with our 13 Wheat Pennies. We got here across the top. We got some... Possible album upgraders here across the top. Also got that 1998 Wide AM over here. Happy to have that. Did end up with a few 09s. None of these that I'm probably going to keep. They're all in pretty rough shape. Five Canadians, the oldest being a 1966. And we did get five 59s. One nice 59D. I think we need that for the album. So I'm going to go ahead get the albums out. Um, see what we can upgrade and uh, what we can add for an addition. And uh, we'll go through them one by one, and we'll see where we're at at the end. All right, we're back with album number one, our 1909 through 1940S. We are going to have one addition. We are going to be able to add that 1935S. Happy to have S minted wheat penny here to add to the book. We'll get that added. Go ahead and get book two out. We'll see what we have for that. All right, we are back with book two, which is our 1941 through 1974S. And we are going to have one edition. We're going to have a 1952S. We're going to have one upgrade, 1953D, here. We're also going to be able to upgrade a 1971D, and we'll be able to upgrade a 1972. So couple more uh, for this book 
I'll go ahead get these put in get book three out and see if we have any additions or upgrades for that one all right album number three 1975 through 2013 D uh, we have one edition several upgrades here so we're going to be upgrading our 1976 We'll be upgrading our 1977. Both of them are just slight upgrades, but the, these other ones are definitely better. And then we got a 1980 we'll be upgrading. And then on this last page here, we have a 2006 we'll be upgrading. And we have a 2008D that will be an addition. So, add one here. Get the rest of these punched in, and I will be back with our totals. All right, so our totals now, after the hunt, is over. So book one, we added one, so we're at four out of 89 spots, which is our 1909 through 1940. Book two, 1941 through 1974, we're at 59 of 87 spots. And book three, which is... Uh, 1975 through uh, 2013 we are at 70 of 89 spots for a total of 133 of 100 or 265 spots filled so we've made progress again made some upgrades we added four additions so hopefully next box we can do some more and try to get this thing uh, headed in the right direction so anyway, appreciate everybody coming along. It was a super fun hunt. Remember to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next hunt. I can see the sweet sun pouring down in the strawberry.